Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about the top five supplements that can be helpful for headaches. These five supplements were picked based on studies out there. However, there are other lifestyle and interventions that you can do to improve headaches, and we'll get into that on the next side. So let's get right into this. Headaches is one of the top 10 disabling conditions in the world. What that means is it impacts someone's life where they can't function, can't go to work, or can't even take care of their children for the day because of a headache. Globally, about 46% of all adults will experience a headache. And in the United States, one out of six adults will experience a headache within a three month period of time. It impacts females over males two to one. Likely, the cause is hormonal shifts. So for women, they, when they have this hormonal shift every month, they can get a hormone-based uh, headache. Or the shift in hormones can create imbalances temporarily that can create vascular type of headaches. Now, the top five are listed here. Fever few, they use 6.25 up to 18.75 three times a day for 12 weeks. And they've noticed actually that increasing the dosage of feverfew actually impacts uh, the outcome of the headaches. So it actually improves the outcome when you have higher doses. Magnesium, 600 milligrams per day for 12 weeks. Now magnesium has over 300 enzymatic processes that occur. So it's very important for a lot of different functions. However, magnesium also helps relax musculature and vasculature. So it helps decrease blood pressure, uh, gives you more a relaxed sensation. So magnesium is an important one. We have a separate video on magnesium and I'll link that below. Vitamin D, they've used 2,000 to 4,000 international units for 12 weeks and has shown to impact headaches. And again, I have a separate video on that one. Butter butter, 100 to 150 milligrams per day for 12 weeks. Likely the impact of butterbur is the antihistamine effect um, it has on, uh, on the patient. So when you have a lot of allergies and so forth, when you take this, it reduces histamine. So it reduces histamine related headaches and probably an anti-inflammatory effect on top of that. CoQ10 or coenzyme Q10, 100 to 400 milligrams per day for 12 weeks has also shown to impact headaches because one, it's important for energy production. Two, it's important for vasculature. So uh, coenzyme Q10 is another good one. So those are the top five, and I'll link all the studies related to each one uh, below. Now, in our office, what do we do? So Dr. Jin's recommendations. What do we do in our office? Oftentimes, there are uh, triggers to headaches. So what we're looking for is triggers for those patients who might experience headaches. And now over the years, I've taken care of a lot of patients who have autoimmune disease, GI issues, and a lot of different conditions. And oftentimes when we put them on a restrictive or a, a gluten-free or dairy-free diet, we notice that their headaches start to improve, right? And that's likely because they had some sort of reactivity increasing histamine reaction or inflammatory reactions. And by eliminating those foods, the inflammatory load and histamine load goes down, thereby reducing headaches. So number one recommendation is just a dietary change. If we went gluten-free and dairy-free for let's say four weeks to see if you have a, a improvement in your headaches, okay? If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and act add in lectin-free and nightshade-free diet and see if that will impact your headaches. Also finding triggers. So some people, it could be food coloring or some sort of additive in foods that trigger headaches. So it's important to find the triggers. So that's step number one. Step number two is exercise. Oftentimes we are sedentary, we sit in front of the computer for long periods of time. And the only exercise might be a short walk around the park, but you really need to do some vigorous exercise, 15 to 20 minutes of vigorous exercise where you get your heart rate up, increase circulation, proper sleep and stress reduction. 
that's obvious, right? You have to sleep well to function well, uh, and you have to reduce your stress. So you have to find hobbies that will uh, reduce your stress or do things that are enjoyable for you. Uh, stress management is very important. So you can also do stress um, supporting supplements, right? What we call adaptogens, they're available. So sleep, sleep and stress is very important. So for me, in my office, magnesium is really number one on our list for headaches. And the reason is because it impacts so many different enzymatic processes and has a relaxation benefit. So I would do these plus magnesium first. See if it impacts or improves their headache. You can use anywhere from 400 to 600 milligrams per day. I like to use it at nighttime because it has a, a deep impact on sleep also. We have a separate video on all the different forms of magnesium and how it's used. So you want to go ahead and watch that one. After magnesium, we'll use vitamin D. And I know a lot of people will say use vitamin K and magnesium also. So it's important to do that since we already have it here. We just add in the vitamin K. I like to use about 5,000 international units of vitamin D along with vitamin K and magnesium. And I like to recheck the values, right? Not just say, oh, I'm just taking 5,000 or 10,000 units. It's important to recheck the value. Optimal level is between 60 and 80 nanograms per mill, uh, milliliter. So it's important to get into a target range uh, that might be the most beneficial for patients. Third vitamin we'll use is coenzyme Q10. We'll use between 200 and 400 milligrams per day in divided doses, right? So if we're taking 200, you take 100 and 100. If you're taking 400, you take 200 and 200. Okay, so those are the top three supplements. Then we would consider Feverfew and Butterbur. If you're going to do these, don't do it for long periods of time. Also, I would suggest using uh, a qualified practitioner to help you guide you through these herbal type of remedies and so forth. But this is kind of my top eight. We do dietary exercise, proper sleep stress management, followed by magnesium, vitamin D, CoQ10, and then we can consider doing feverfew and butterbur. Oftentimes, you don't have to do it all. You just need to find the right combination of things. For some people, it's just taking magnesium corrects their headaches. It has a profound effect. Vitamin D can have a profound effect, or just the dietary changes might have a profound effect. So you need to kind of figure out uh, that portion for yourself or work with somebody who understands this and helps you guide you through this process. Now, there are a lot of different other uh, remedies out there for headaches. So why don't you go ahead and list what works for you and then uh, let's create a conversation about how to improve headaches for patients, all right? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.